Got my banana smoothie, banana, oats, and Greek yogurt, and milk, lactose free milk. I just had that milk. I'm not lactose intolerant, so I don't care. Recently watching Blue Empire on episode on season three, episode six. I just finished watching episode five. I have to say, I've steadily, slowly, slowly stopped enjoying the show. Like, it's nuts how I just stopped enjoying the show as much. I've got cuts on my hand. I've got, like, invisible cut on my hand. Weird. I feel immensely tired. I remember just getting off the show, just... Like, just... I think getting a minute. Like, I can't remember exactly what I thought, but... I do remember ex exactly what my emotions were. And that was just insane contempt. Contempt is contempt the right word, but insane amounts of... Not necessarily jealousy. Like envy, I think that's the right word. I just like looked away for a second. Like, How? Why am I watching this? Like, I can't enjoy this anymore. They live just immensely different lives. It's just so weird. They do yoga and shit constantly. Of course, they're still working and stuff. They're doing yoga and um, some stupid shit like that. And some like family, not family, but like some healing, spiritual type shit. I'm just thinking to myself, like, this is what rich people get up to. I'm out here fucking broke as shit. Don't worry about my reality. Honestly, I can't watch the show anymore. You might think, oh, you're going, you're going insane over some big empire, some crazy rich Asians. Well, yeah, it's just and like in the other video, like I said before, kind of like seeing yourself and what you could have been. That was. It really compounded to that. I think that's the best part. Not the best part of it, but that's the most important part of it. What I could have been had I chosen when I was 14 and I was saying, yeah, I want to be rich one day. Yeah, I want to be this one day. Yeah, I want to be that one day. But I had no no process. Like Even right now, I'm reading books. My, my reading of books was pointless. I was um, watching the show. I was sitting and I thought about the moment in today where I saw students... That came out of LAE, which is like a prestigious school in the UK. It's quite a shit school, to be honest. It's kind of like new modernized. It's very cramped. It's quite. It's but it's prestigious and status, and that's all that matters, right? Status in this day and age. I went in the school before as a tour. I still remember, and it was like a awkward, cramped, tight, packed at school, and they're like super prestigious for the ultra smart kids. I got sevens and eights and nines in GCSE. Got like two five. Yeah, so I thought I would be able to still get in if I begged. Uh, that's what I heard. Then I get to the school, and then what? I finish the school, I go to a good university, and then what? I have four grand in debt. Perhaps getting a job is easier for me. And then what? I go uh, three or four years on a travel holiday type shit. With parents money, with borrowed money, with lent money, and it's all socially acceptable. And then what? And then I'm 25, 26, thinking about the grind. Me, I've got a girl pregnant. It's just... I don't have a proper it's job, income. I'm worrying about work, I'm worrying about this, I'm worrying about that. It's such a fucking bullshit for Ghazi. All this, is, it feels like a bullshit for Ghazi scam. And what I've seen so far, especially in the shows like Bling Empire and uh, Crazy Rich Asians, the movie, and seeing the likes of Andrew Tate and how successful he's been. What I've seen so far is life is immensely unfair. Immensely, immensely so. And it frustrates me to know this because I could get that lifestyle, but it will be after years of hard work and dedication. They're just born with it. They just exist in it. And obviously I will be a much better individual Emotionally and physically because of it thereafter like anyone the self-made woman is better than a woman who just get marries a rich a rich guy and becomes like richer thereafter and The self-made man is infinitely better than that man who just born into wealth because the guys who are just born into wealth Usually they end up doing crazy shit in order to you know try to supplement Fun and interesting things to happen in their life because they don't have conventional problems like money or school because money, money effectively negates school and they're not a problem with money because they trust one baby, right? Like in these guy, the Blink Empire shows. So what do they end up doing? 
throwing crazy parties, partying, getting into drugs, having casual sex, hooking up, and being an absolute retard. That's what usually a lot of trust me babies that guys do. Girls are better off. Got a cut on my hand, bro. No blood though. It's not. It's kind of um, paper cut type thing. But I see. Don't see his skin fracture. Weird. It's like right here, right here. Oh, I saw Bob, but go cut that today. That was nice. I um. I feel. I say I'm mentally jealous, but I already, already, I already established that. I feel like all my efforts are quite pointless. Very annoying. And I constantly think about the person I could have been instead of the person that I am now and try to focus on what I can do better now. And it's quite annoying. It's very, very annoying. Yeah, like I said before, when I was 14, I made the business. Three years of entrepreneurship experience. When I was 14, I'm talking about becoming successful and this is and that and this tech company and all that stuff. And only now I'm really thinking about it again. I didn't even think about it. I fell into complacency with the rest of the years, social media, porn, video games. It just completely swept my soul, just absorbed my soul. And kind of became a bit hollow thereafter. Like I forgot my purpose. Especially with the advent of TikTok. TikTok made me care about stupid bullshit I don't care about. How believe how unbelievable is that? That's the power of TikTok. I don't care about the next the Fubuki trend with that one fuckboy was in Vinny Hacker. I don't care about that stuff. But it made me care about it. Scroll, it, scroll, it, scroll. Wow, all these rookie girls, all these girls. Unbelievable, man. Jesus Christ. Been going through a bit of a tough spot recently. It doesn't help that I see all these tough people. So I'm just gonna go to bed. <laughs> I can't be asking this. Catch you guys in a bit.